y'all. This is Violent J. And I'm Shaggy Too Dope. And we're the infamous ICP and St. Clown Posse. And it's that spooky time of year, Jay. That's <laughs> right. It's time for the wicked clowns to get holla wicked on that ass. So check us out in the booth as we bring the fright of the night to your chin. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Yo, I see be all up on G4 right now. It's St. Cloud Posse representing Southwest Detroit. The murder men. That's right, my man's Bonnie J. Shag's too dope. And right about now, on Hip Hop Freestyle 101, my man's Bonnie J. About to hit this shit right now. Kick it, dog. I come floating on a magic carpet with a fat sword. I'm Violent J of the Lotus Ward, the big G. You can try to rub my lamp, I might float out and spike your ass like that. I bow to the pyramids I do confide. The secrets of the carnival are deep inside. Disrespect it and hocus pocus. I split your forehead and plant my lotus. You don't know what this killer's all about. I might sever your head off and fuck your mouth. Bells and chimes ring 17 times. Faceless souls act out like mimes. Pegasus cry as gargoyles take eyeballs from heads like skinless grapes. Even kings will fall to the floor and end up only knowing G4. Oh! And that's how ICP does in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? G4. Hip hop, motherfucker. Straight up from Southwest Detroit. Wicked that's how we shit. Do. That's how we do. From Wicked the murder men. In the motherfucking hat, get some hatchet in your life. Woo! Growing up in Detroit, the hip hop scene I've come to learn was different than it pretty much is in a lot of places. It was its own special thing in Detroit. I remember collecting all local rap from Detroit, you know. But the stuff I collected was the stuff that came out, you know, pressing up your own tapes, 500 tapes, slanging them in the neighborhood, you know, or the next level when CDs came out, being able to press a thousand CDs, you know. Consignment, 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 putting in that grind, you know, just constantly working and making the rounds so all the mom and pop stores that don't exist no more, you know what I'm saying, just trying to get your cheddar up, you know. There was two sets of crews in Detroit, rappers, you know, freestyle rappers, of course, uh, you know some of them names already, like Royce the Five Nine and all them uh, Eminem. All the hip hop shop kids and all Proof, that, Morris you know, Malone's people, all that. Those guys were doing their thing and they they hung out at the hip hop shop and did what they did, um, and uh, were respected everywhere. And then there was the other set of MCs who put their stuff out. You know what I'm saying? They pressed their CDs up, pressed tapes up, and would get a name like that. You know, and uh, uh, we come from the from the side that that. Uh, released our own music as far back as we can remember trying to sell it you know back in the day it was different than it is today today you know the internet changed the whole world but back in the day you could you could make serious money selling your own music because there were so many little record stores you know you can make a living just off of selling like 30 40 thousand records locally in detroit you can make a comfortable living off that you know and that's like 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 jay was saying the people that actually would put in that work and press it up, not just hang out Friday nights at the hip hop shop battling to see who's fresh or whatnot, but actually putting that work in to press your, press your thing and all that, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, you had your awesome Dre's, your Mercer Samir's, of course, ICP's, you know, and even your Kid Rocks and Eshams and stuff like that, who actually would put in that grind to put in, put out records to make that money, you know, to support what they were doing, you know? Some of the Detroit rap heroes, without a doubt, our cats like Awesome Dre. Awesome Dre had a deal with Priority back in the day. You know, he was a lyricist. But he was the first one to actually get on from Detroit, you know, get a major deal. And he was respected as a lyricist. And I think that's where a lot of the freestyling uh, that, that, was, that came from Detroit came from. I think that inspired a lot of what became Detroit, which is a lot of great freestyle artists, a lot of lyricists, you know. We personally kind of came came up a different road, you know. But uh, if you look at Detroit and, and its most successful rappers and everything, that's 
a lot of that comes from the the legacy that Austin Dre put down, I believe. There was money yeah. to be made. There yeah. was there was get, getting on with your dreams instead internet, of waiting until you get discovered. There was there was make it happen now. I you mean, know we what was I'm we was pushing what like like eighty to one hundred twenty five thousand or one hundred twenty twenty thousand units. You know what I'm saying? Off one record without major distribution, without any record label, or whatever. You know, we were like ghetto millionaires, you know what I'm saying, before like we even started messing with any kind of majors, you know? I believe the internet changed the game forever. It changed it in positive ways and negative ways, of course. You know, obviously, you can you can become a star off of YouTube now. You know, you can become a star off of MySpace now, you know? You ain't gonna make no money. Yeah, I mean, that's a different... If you can transfer that into money, that's different, you know what right. I'm saying? Everybody's got different tactics, you know? You hook up with some computer nerd that knows, you know, how to get money off that. But, yeah, I mean, you could be getting, what, like, two million downloads, but you still be gripping a pinto and living in your mom's basement. You when we what started saying? out, if we came out with a new record, it would take three days to drive that record to all the record stores. In, in in our you know in about a two hour radius around Detroit that Today, many mom and pops you know there was that many stores thriving selling CDs whether they were brand new stores chain stores or used stores they were there was that many it took three days to get get to them all today. It's probably three stores in all of Michigan, you know, but there's still ways to get on, obviously, you know, it's just different now, you know what I mean? Today, having a bomb-ass freestyle, that can really, you can be seen now. You got the internet, you can shine off that extra hard. It ain't like being on the corner anymore. You can you can become a star off that, you know? And plus, the whole industry is more solid now. It's it's grown into what it is. It, Maybe maybe back in the day everything was still just coming out of the garden. Today it's a forest. You know what I mean? So.